All right, so let's talk about looking at the average or finding the average value of a function. So if you're given a, uh, a bunch of data points, you can find the average value of those numbers by adding them all up and dividing by however many there are. Well, what if you have an infinite number between two numbers, say T1 and T2? How are you going to find the average value of that? Well, if you have a function that represents that data between the two numbers, we can find the average value of that function which is 1 over b minus a times the integral f of x dx from a to b. And so this is all you have to use is this formula here. So let's go ahead and look at this example here. Uh, all right, so we got find the average value of the function on the given interval. So we've got f of x is 3x squared plus 8x on the, inter on the interval negative 1 to 2. So we've got the average value is equal to 1 over b minus a. So there's a and there's b. So that's 2 minus negative 1 times the integral negative 1 to 2, 3x squared plus 8x dx. And so this is going to be one-third, and then let's go ahead and integrate this thing. That's going to be x cubed plus 4x squared from negative 1 to 2. And so this will give us one-third, and that is going to be 2 cubed plus 4 times 2 squared minus, and that's going to be negative 1 cubed uh, plus 4 times negative 1 squared. And so that'll give us 1 third times, that's going to be 8 plus 16 minus, that's going to be negative 1 plus 4. All right, so that will give us, let's see, 8 and 16 is 24, minus 3 is 21, and then 21 times 1 third is 7. And so there's your average value. All right, now let's look at the mean value theorem for integrals. It says if f is continuous on a, b, then there exists a number c in this interval a, b, such that f of c is equal to the average value of the function which is this, all right? That is, the integral f of x dx from a to b is equal to f of c times b minus a. All right, so that might kind of be difficult to kind of interpret what that means, but let's, let, let's look at this right here. All right, so, so we have our function here, okay? So here's your function, y equals f of x. All right, and for this function, we can actually find the area under, under this curve from a to b. Okay, so I'm talking about this function here, y equals f of x. We can find the area under that curve from a to b. Well, what the mean value theorem says is that there exists some number c in between a and b. Okay, so that f of c times b minus a is equal to this area. All right, so now if you think about this, all right, so, so look at this. From here, from the x-axis here up to here, that's f of c, okay? See, we've got some number c here, so we have a point here, c, f of c. So this is the height, and then look, b minus a, well, b minus a, that's just the length of that rectangle there. So what it's saying is, that we can find C so that we can take the area of this rectangle and that will equal the area underneath that curve. And that's, that's, what, you're, that's what you're finding, that value of C. All right, so, so let's go ahead and work a problem. So we, we, we have to find the average value of the function, okay? We've gotta find the average value and, and then 
and, and then we can find C, and then we'll also sketch the graph of it. All right, so the example we have here is find the average value of F on the given interval, find C such that the average value is equal to F of C, sketch the graph of F, and a rectangle whose area is the same as the area under the graph of F. All right, so let's go ahead and do part A, find the average value of the function. So we've got the average value is 1 over B minus A times the integral A to B of F of X. Now this square root of X, I'm going to go ahead and write that as X to the 1 half. So that's going to give me 1 fourth times, let's see, that's going to be x to the 3 halves and then times the reciprocal. All right, and that's from 0 to 4. And so that's going to be what? 1 sixth x to the 3 halves from 0 to 4. And so that's going to give me 1 sixth times, that's going to be 4 to the 3 halves minus 0 to the 3 halves which is 1 sixth times. Now, remember, 4 to the 3 halves, that's the square root of 4 cubed. So that's going to be 8. And so that's going to give me, what, 4 thirds. Okay. So that's my average value is 4 thirds. All right. So now for part B, find C such that the average value is equal to f of c. All right, so this is part a, and so for part b, I need f of c is equal to the average value. So let's see, f of c would be what? Square root of c. See, if I plug the c into my function f, and that is equal to 4 thirds, so this tells me that C is 16 over 9. And this is, the, uh, this is the C value that they're looking for for part B. And that's the answer for part A. All right. Now what they want us to do is draw a sketch. All right. So I'm going to erase some of this stuff. And uh, so I'll have room to graph it. I'll pause it while I erase it. All right, so let's go ahead and do part C. And that's going to be graphing it. So, all right, so let's see. We got one, two, three, four. And then we got one, two, three. All right, so let's graph the square root of x. So that's easy. We would have the point 0, 0, have the point 1, 1, and we would have the point 4, 2. And so the square root function would look something like that between 0 and 4. Okay. Now, so this is the graph of our function f of x, and this would be the area under that curve here okay this area here now they also want us to draw in the rectangle all right so we've got 16 ninths that's c okay so 16 divided by 9 that's 1.777 and so that's going to be somewhere about right in here let me do this in a different color all right, so we've got 16 over 9. All right. And so this rectangle is going to go up to here. Okay. And I'll draw my rectangle in right there. All right. So remember this. This is the graph y equals square root of x. And, and what's this point coordinate here, this point coordinate? Well, c is 16 over 9. And then remember, 
from the mean value theorem, whoop, where is it? Uh, there. From the mean value theorem, f of c is equal to the average value. Okay? And so we found that the average value here, so there is your f of c. And so this would be four thirds. And so what, what they're saying is that the area under this graph, the square root of x from zero to four, is the same as the area under this rectangle here. Okay. All right. So I hope that video helped. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.